guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing some cleaning and organizing of our master bedroom closets. I am in mine right now and around that way, but this video is gonna be a little bit different. I am not going to videotape myself cleaning it. I'm just gonna give you guys my five tips and tricks to get your master, master bedroom closet clean and tidy. This will also work for your kids' clothes and then also your dresser drawers. So my first tip is to organize when the seasons change. So summer, spring, winter, and fall. You should be going in, decluttering, taking out things that are either worn or just look a little bit raggedy or that you haven't worn for that season. So we are still in spring. When summer approaches, if there are items that I didn't wear for this spring or I didn't wear last spring, I am definitely going to get rid of them. It's best to give these items to someone that they can make good use out of them. So I like to donate, donate my stuff to the Goodwill and just different places so that somebody else can take your things that you haven't been using and then use them for good. My second tip, and this is a weird one because I never used to do this. My second tip is to have all of your clothes in your closet. I used to be the kind of girl that stored my winter and summer items when it wasn't those seasons in bins in the garage and then I would go and get them. But in reality, I wouldn't get them all and there would be clothes that would just be forgotten. So I say store all of your items in your closet all year round. You can sort your items by long sleeves, short sleeves, and tank tops. I do everything color coordinated. I do live in Cali so the weather is pretty good all year round. But store everything in your closet. Um, if you live in a snowy climate, I would say maybe store those winter coats and those things. We have a coat closet downstairs in my house. I store that stuff there. But all of my other, my long sleeves, my short sleeves, my tank tops, my summer, my winter clothes, everything is stored in my closet. I can see it every day. So if, like I said, we're in spring, when summer is approaching, I have visual eyes on what summer shoes that I own, with summer tops that I own and things that I need to get. I don't have to go downstairs in a bin and shuffle through things to try to find something that will work. So store everything in your closet so you have an eye on it, so you know what you have and the things that you need. The third tip, limit your space. Believe it or not, in my heart, I wish I was a minimalist, but I'm not. But some things I do really well. This is actually this side of the closet and it stops here, is actually all of the shirts and blazers that I have. The rest of this stuff belongs to my husband. And then that side, I have my dresses. These are the only shirts that I wear, that I have. Some people may think, oh my gosh, that's not a lot. But I even will go through this and purge it. So I limit my space to this. If this area starts to get crowded or clutter, or if I run out of hangers, then I know that it is time to go through and purge some of the items. Purging not only feels good, but it lets you focus on the things that you love. I am a shopper that I try to buy things that I absolutely love. Believe it or not, I only have two swimsuits. I'm a girl who lives in California and I have two swimsuits. But those two swimsuits, when I put them on, I feel great, I look great, and they just fit to a T. You don't need 50 items of the same thing. You don't need 50 tank tops. You don't need 50, just a few pieces, good pieces that you'll actually wear. Um, I kind of hit on this before, but only keep things that you love. I guess that would, this would kind of feed off of KonMari. So only keep those things that are going to spark joy. Only keep those clothes that are going to make you feel like a million bucks when you get in them. If you have stuff in your closet and every time you put it on, you feel like, yuck, it is time to get rid of it. Leave room in your closet for things that bring you joy. And some people may say clothes don't bring you joy. Clothes absolutely bring you joy and so do a good pair of heels. Like I said, you're gonna store all your items in your closet, but what about Halloween costumes? What about those things like your wedding dress or sentimental items? Just because you haven't worn them season after season, you don't wanna get rid of them. Those items I do, you either wanna get the vacuum seal bags or I store them in bins down in the garage because 
I have a whole box of costumes. Costumes I'm not gonna wear every day, but when I need that red riding hood outfit, I have it, I know what box it's in, and I can pull it out. Oh, another tip I wanna say too, if certain items bring you joy, display them. Leave them in your closet in a spot that puts a smile on your face. I hope these little tips and tricks will help you guys get your closet organized. So I'm going to get started and you guys get started and let's get decluttering. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.